This is a max level commander. You do want to go for these three first. This one is a late game thing. So first him. Helmsman. Torpedo crew trading. Uh, then you want to go for Watchful. And uh, then you want to go for either Casual Specialist or Superintendent. I would go for Specialist, but either one is fine. Then make sure you fill all these three, these three first, and then you move on to other things. Um, this one is, I would say, the first two four you want to take. Then you can take Enlarged, and then you can go for uh, Liquidator. That's on the German subs. And then for the modules, equipment here. We got some modifications since there is nothing really you need. Your torpedoes basically never, hardly ever break. Doesn't really matter. And mostly your torpedoes are already in the water. So you want to be able to repaint things. So that's the most important thing. Um, on the other submarines, by the way, if you're uh, Germany for downside, you see there, damage control party, casual action time, 5 seconds. For any other nation, that's 15 seconds base. And that's why I use this module here to increase to 21 seconds. Because that, that damage control part is what keeps you alive. You need to keep that up as much as possible. So, but yeah, because it's German one, I use here a solar modification. Uh, not being on fire or flooding is nice. And this will reduce at 100% with 3%. So sometimes you do not get flooded, which is nice. Um, so the big velocity, because it's just nice. Nothing else here really matters. You can make it to be slightly faster, I guess. Yeah, you could do that. So that, that's kind of whichever you want to prefer. Um, then always go for steering gears and and um, steering gears 2 and 3. That's what I go for because maneuverability is the weakness of submarines. They have a very hard time turning. So if you can increase your turning radius and also just makes you die faster, which is nice. But mostly about the turning radius is good. Because then you can actually get your torpedoes on target easier. And then uh, reload because reload is good and this is not needed. So uh, there you have it. That that's my basic uh, German submarine build with both commander and uh, and equipment. Uh, of course, I need to fix that that little check mark thing where people can uh, yeah not get the follower tag. But I think I can fix it in the afternoon. I think I can. I I like learning things. I like to improve myself. So um, here we have against us uh, I, a U69, same as me. Icarus and Farragut. Icarus has Hydro. The Nuremberg is scary, always. Perth as well, Perth is rare to see. So they got a good amount of Hydros and uh, and carriers. Yes. Um, so, I'm going to launch these torpedoes, and with a submarine you can launch these. These are homing torpedoes. So launch these already, with a little bit of a spread on them. And I don't hold them yet, there's my counterpart, because now I can ping this guy, and already on the way. I hit him, which I failed. Oh, didn't fail, didn't fail, check. He went down, but these are now homing. See that, that, that green line? They're now homing into him. It's only one ping. You can have one or two pings. One ping lasts less long. And makes the homing, the, the turning circle of your torpedoes, less active. But we hit one. Uh, we hit one torpedo, one torpedo will do. And he still didn't DCP that. Let's go up. I think he's down. And you want to make sure you have more oxygen than your enemy. It's basically like a, a DD. Not want to use his smoke screen at the wrong time. Because the one who has it still left is the one who usually wins. Same thing with oxygen. Or I call it oxygen is usually... Uh, Underwater resources, whatever they call it. It's just auction. That's easier. Um, Byron is coming this way, so let's go for Byron here. Yeah? Don't really want to fight Perth, there's an island way. Let's go for Byron. So I want to ping him here. He's going to nose him. Because you can see the torpedo on the minimap. Only submarines can see that. And I get the ping on him. I expect him to use his damage control party here. And then we re ping him before they get to him. Unless he uh, does do that, but they oftentimes do. They uh, DCP too early. And I just go for a second set of torpedoes. There. And you want to get a ping nice midships, because these will actually hold directly to the point you hit. Ah, uh, didn't double ping him. So if you get on the, on the nose or the stern, they have a very easy time to dodge them, like that. There we go. There's DCP. 
big X there, since you can't hit it with the um, with the sonar. You can only see this in sonar mode, by the way. If you go for the computer, you don't see it. But here you can see it's DCP being active, so we can no longer damage control that. I'm so used to saying DCP that never said damage control, but uh, that's the damage control I talk about. Damage control party. That thing, he can't, he can't really get rid of that because he just uses damage control party. And I kind of hit him on the nose, but I do want to double ping first before I... Ah, really? I hit him even more on the nose. That's good, because now I can just slow down and turn and that to be able to just go past him. But it's something in the background. I don't mind that. That's the whole thing. Now can I get this side of the ship there? Uh, it's a bit... No, it's a far back, but it's fine. Okay, turn around and get him. Uh, they lost their submarine, so that's good to know. Mm -hmm. well, these torpedoes don't do insane damage. Homing torpedoes do less damage than normal torpedoes. Some subs get, get to choose, some subs don't. This one only gets uh, homing torpedoes. Does mean you don't make mistakes in having the wrong type of torpedo launched. Let's see what he's doing. Let's get a ping again. And he's turning out. See, this is how battles can easily lose these torpedoes if they know what they're doing. And this guy does know. That's a no DCP. False DCP is active. Let's launch this as a regular torpedo. Uh, I joke because he's turning. Because I don't think no, it's already stopped homing. With every single ship type, the homing will stop at a different distance from the ship. With battleships 2.1 km away, the homing of torpedoes will stop. So I can ping him, but there's no point in pinging him because it will not home. It will stop homing at 2.1 km. So they can still make adjustments and dodge torpedoes. Now for, uh, I believe for cruise it used to be 840 meters. I think that's changed though. And the destroyers have 360 if I'm not mistaken. So it's far harder to dodge for them and for battleships, but they are more maneuverable and faster usually, so they can. Also these guys uh, have, the, have the tankiness to tank it if they need to. But yeah, so there is a distance at which homing no longer works. So I'm gonna do now the slow launch. So it's trying to dodge this one. And hopefully the next one is far enough away so he will get hit by the second one while he's in the turn stuck there. That's the whole thing. Let's see the first one. He's not watching because he's busy with teammates. Boink. There we go. Oxygen one minute, so that's good. Now starting to go to the second one. That means the third and fourth one might be able to turn in still. Ah, they're too close, too close. But you want to make some kind of a line where they just, just enough distance so that they're still home at the, at the point he's trying to dodge it. Uh, I need to go away from here. Yeah, I need to. I need to get some oxygen. Another reason the Germans are superior, they get this. This consumable reserve battery units. For 30 seconds, your oxygen will not go down. So basically you get a little bit more oxygen. Or they, they call it battery power or whatever. There we go. So don't lose your oxygen, so you have a 30 second uh, emergency stay on the water time. Which you have three times, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I think it's one of the best consumables in the game. Special submarines. You get some kind of maneuverability buff on the Americans, which I think is totally useless. But the Germans got the best one, by far. Just a, oh I need a little bit more oxygen time. Uh, emergency button is awesome. Oh god, we put into a game with just destroyers and cruisers when I'm playing submarines. Actually, it's pretty good. Destroyers have a very hard time fighting you. Uh, cruisers, though, is a bit more difficult. A bit more difficult. But at least with uh, cruisers, it's easy to hit them. Because they have a harder time dodging your torpedoes, if you hope they will. But it will take some, some time to learn. It's not the easiest thing to play, even though people think it is. It is not. Team is doing okay. Not great, but okay. I mean, we're almost won this entire flank here. Now, Ferric is still out of range of my um, of my hydrophone here. This one spots on the surface just by one click. There he is. Yeah, I can't stop that. He's gonna get that cap in time. Yeah, I have to recap it. It's fine. It's fine. But 
if you, if you know your basic uh, destroyer playstyle, then that's roughly what you want to do in a submarine as well. Roughly the same thing. You just don't really have a gun to shoot at. Although you do have a secondary gun, and I have had some kills with that, but it's not very accurate. So don't rely on it. Oh, shooting right next to me, isn't he? Oh, we should be fine. Splash them shouldn't hit me. Still just far enough. And yeah, if you don't want to be too close to battleships or crews who are being shelled, because that splash damage will do a lot of damage, you don't have much HP. So uh, that will hurt. So avoid that stuff. And so. Team boss have hold on the ground there, but we have just so much of them in amount of ships left that yeah. Not sure this is gonna be very good for us. It's a caller coming in. Bridgewater is running. Can't get to him. So we want to get A and then B. And let's see if we can Captain. Oh, we need that guy dead. Look at that HP. 1000 HP. Someone shoot him, please. Someone shoot him! Oh, two of them are both pretty low. Nice. That's good, that's good. Uh, Pensacola still coming away. I was going around. Iron Duke might be a target for us. I mean, we need to kill some ships. Pijoni's staying to life way too long. I still need to go for B though. Chilter Carry goes for Icarus. We need that cab back. Can't allow him to have it. It seems because of too many smokes, so I think there, maybe. Maybe we didn't hit the island with the ping. Uh, but I still missed it. Damn it. Well, we need to go. We need to go to B. Uh, which one needs to go? That, this, this guy's my problem here. Alright, but let a torpedo self on enemy cruiser and got him from pool to zero. Oh yeah, yeah, you got the shotgun. You got the shotgun. Many people are complaining about the shotgun, but it's the only defense mechanism the submarine has when something gets close, so it needs uh, that. Even though Wargum is trying to fix that, you, you cannot fix that. Not without ruining the play, so. Okay, down to periscope depth. I'm going to shotgun this guy, although he won't die from it, he has too much HP. But I might be able to damage him significantly at least. Now, we'll be we spotted at uh, 2.1 km away from him. And I'm at the moment at 3.3. But I think he's slowing down. Ping him once. It's close, but they might home in just enough. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do, they do. Just a little bit they need it. It was a lot, but a little bit they need it. There we go. 22,000 damage. Uh, I don't think you reverse that, but just send that. So planes above me, that is not red. Um, nothing in front of us, it's good. Now I don't think you'll see, so let's go up. Vinyl alone. Uh... Yeah, that Bajoni has been doing work, man. The French cruiser on the flank? That that thing has been doing work. I think Bayern is getting a hard time. We might be able to... Hmm. 4.3 kilometer. I need to go down, I get swallowed. So the, there go our cap points. Sarvan Duke. Come on, baby, just a little. There we go. Let the, let the home begin. It should be just enough. I only have to hit two things to kill it, but we hit all four. Buy and save, buy and save. Now, I can't do much against Bajoni, he's too far away. Uh, let's see, Fushun is recapping. Good. Uh, they're losing ships now. So they used to be in advance with ships, and now we killed so many ships here. So, uh, Bayer, you uh... He's gonna get a plus one from me. He's been doing really good there. Staying alive, holding his entire flank with me. Pretty awesome. Now, if Fushu can get that cap, he's being full of planes right now. So, Fuzu might, re uh, might decap him there. And then need to go for, for D there, see if we can get to Fuzo. Maybe intercept the independent, stuff like that. 16 seconds. We need to slow down. 
Fushun is about to get the cap, yes. Good, 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 good. So sometimes it looks like you're losing because your team is just dying all around you and then suddenly turns and then we just starts dying. It just, it just happens. Do not surrender yourself easily. And we got now three caps and the points. Yes, yes. So I'm gonna guarantee that with uh, capping D, since I don't think the independence will go for it. And Bujoni is probably stuck on the blue line now because he has to contend with the rest. Oh, Rijo goes to uh, rest a bit. Or maybe Bayern gets a good volley out. I mean, he's not too accurate. Bayern's a really good ship. Those planes are far enough away, don't need to dive. Well, the submarines are faster on the surface than they are underwater, with the one exception of the U451. The rest are all slow underwater, so you want to be on the surface or periscope depth, because at, the at both depths you have the same speed, you have the surface speed. If you're underwater, you get underwater speed. But uh, apparently, uh, periscope depth counts as above water speed. Uh, I want to see Fuso, so Fushu can shoot, because he's probably in smoke. He's too far to, to torpedo. Well, but not by uh, not by Fushun. Now let's see if uh, Independence is still behind that island over there. It probably is. No one carries. And then we get three, three or four caps. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Abide is still alive. I'm surprised Bajon didn't burn to death by now, but he's still there. Core HP, still doing what, it th what he can. And the carrier wants to have a look at me, but he has only torpedo planes. I think we kept it for sale out, so. Yeah. He's going for Fushun. Okay. Yeah, it is fine. It is fine. And the problem with carriers is they have automatic anti submarine warfare, those flying bombs. Uh, the automatic, and they basically never miss. I think in all my games when I play submarine, I think there's three times the, the CV did not hit me. In all those 3,000 games I played. Yeah. So, he's putting a fight there. Very good, because that keeps me from spotting him. Because I need to go and not be spot myself, so let's just go down here so I don't get spotted by these. Oh, he's coming out. Oh no, he's not coming out. He's just sitting there. So, from 8 km away, if I now would ping, uh, if you ping normally, you would have that uh, echo on the surface, right? If we ping now, his bomb would come out and bomb me, and it would hit me. Uh, 8 km is the radius when it starts. So, against a CV, what I usually try to do is be going towards him, and beyond 8 km, I want to ping them to get their DCPU cooldown. Then that these people will run for a long while, but when you get closer, you have a chance to flood them when the least piece down. Then. That's the plan. Now he's just actually stationary behind that rock there, so nothing I can hit. Even though you can see this front, you cannot. There's still still enough land in the way. Three minutes of oxygen. Let's go up. So I don't want to ping him, I just want to launch to... Oh, planes... No, they're not landing, we need to go down again. I thought these were landing planes, they're not. And if they spot me, 2.1, which they don't, then that, that bomb will hit me. So you need to wait for these to go past, that's why I do a lot of minimap watching, because it's very hard to spot on the water. So that's why I pay a lot of attention to minimap here. There we go. Didn't expect us to win this one. But, but both Fusion and uh, Bayern are really good. And luck. Here, get a, get a compliment, you. You did awesome.